This year alone, our industry has experienced over a thousand data breaches so far, and the year is not even done yet. These breaches have impacted the personal data of over a hundred million people all around the globe. If we're a network manager, no doubt we're thinking that it's no longer a question of if we will have a cybersecurity breach, but when. In addition to that, even with today's advanced systems, businesses still suffer from performance problems with their business critical applications. And with just our day-to-day -day operations, it's getting harder and harder to monitor who is on the network, when they're on the network, where they're on the network, and what they're accessing. So it's easy to see the need to monitor the network and the traffic that traverses it, but the big question is how? Many IT organizations find an overload of options to select from today when it comes to monitoring their systems. And the fear is that we don't want to buy the wrong thing to achieve our goals. But before we talk about acquiring some new monitoring platform, first let's take a look at how we can leverage our existing tool set, and that will help us to better see where we need to grow. It's true that no matter what monitoring tools we have, all of them need access to the traffic. Now, there's two things that can make that difficult. The first is that there's so many points along the network that a monitoring system needs access to. We need monitoring at the client, on the network infrastructure, at the edge, in the data center, and even in the cloud. But how is it possible we can take all of those feeds and path them to just one monitoring system? The second thing that can make data access or traffic access difficult is oftentimes when we implement a new monitoring solution, it's not the first tool to the rodeo. A lot of times other monitoring systems competing for span monitor ports, such as IDS systems, packet storage, network performance tools, something like an IOTA, or even Wireshark, just to name a few, compete with those analysis ports. In fact, at many key locations, core switches often can only support one or two span or mirror ports. So this really limits how many tools can get access to the traffic they need. So to help us to mitigate those two challenges and get us better efficiency of the tools that we have, it's best to implement a packet broker. But what's a packet broker? Well, if we take a look at a system, here we can see that we have the network infrastructure. And in many cases, we have tools that are attached to different points along that infrastructure. But what a packet broker does is it gives us a visibility layer. Really, it lifts that tool plane and we insert it between the tools and the network. The direct feeds from the network, be it taps or span mirrors, go directly into the packet broker. Then at the packet broker level, we decide what traffic should go where. For example, we might want to send all of our data over to our packet storage device, but our application performance monitor might just want to see HTTPS. Still, we may have a device that only operates at one gigabit per second, while another can accept 10 gig feeds. So a packet broker intercepts the traffic from those network analysis points, those key areas where we need to collect traffic. Then it can shape it, filter it if necessary, and send it along to the right tool. The packet broker can filter the traffic, slice the packet size, do duplicate the traffic, replicate it, aggregate it, and even perform load balancing. So to effectively monitor the network for both security intrusions and performance, we can get the right packet to the right tool at the right place. This allows us to better direct our budget rather than buying tool sets that we might already have we can leverage the ones that we already have implemented and that'll give us a better picture of what we need to acquire. Equipping our network for visibility lets us maximize our tool set, prepare for possible breaches or even avoid those breaches that may come, stay on top of our network performance and monitor the traffic that's already on the network. Consider leveraging a packet broker to get the right packets to the right tool in the right place at the right time.